Hey, love bugs. Welcome to my channel. I am Navy Marlowe. Thanks for tuning in and watching me today. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I pulled off the Goddess Braid Ponytail. I've done this style about two or three times, and I just love it because it's a great, quick, protective style. I particularly love it for the summertime. I love to rock it in the summertime with just a cute outfit, um, out and about to festivals or whatnot, but it's really easy to pull off. So my hair is 4C hair. I just recently did a flexi rod set on my hair about a week ago. If you guys want to see that, go back about two or three videos from this video and you'll see that. Um, and then after I did the flexi rod set, I had my hair basically pulled back into a bun or sleep, slick black into a bun. So I just took that bun out about 10, 15 minutes ago prior to me recording this. So if you guys want to see how I achieved the goddess braid ponytail, stay tuned. <music> So to create the smallest bun possible, I'm going to divide my ponytail into threes and I'm going to twist each piece and then wrap it around my bun to make it as secure as possible using bobby pins. Now I'm just going to use some eco styling gel and apply that to my edges to lay and slay and snatch these edges, boo. Now I'm going to take these silver clips and place them on the end of my sideburns. I just do this. This is just to keep my sideburns in place and to keep them from sticking up. Now I'm going to take this braiding hair. I got this from my local beauty supply store, but this hair was about $3.99. And I'm going to use a pack and a half. I'm going to take this rubber band and interlock it onto the hair. And this rubber band, I'm going to use that to wrap it around my bun. Now, I'm not going to divide the hair or fold the hair evenly so that it's even at the end. I'm going to fold it in half so that it is sort of uneven, as you can see there. That way, when I braid it all the way towards the end, it's not as thick and it's kind of, uh, it kind of like gives it like a thin out look towards the end. So it's not like a thick look. You guys will see when, once I get to that part. So now as I'm braiding down the hair, I am going to take like four small sections or four small pieces um, from the ponytail as I braid it down. This is going to give me those little Shirley Temple curls, but it's kind of hard to explain. So I feel like I can show you better than I can tell you. So just keep watching. Now I'm going to take my scissors to thin out the end of the ponytail. Like I said earlier, you don't want it to be thick and like a blunt cut, cut at the end. You want it to be like a taper, thinning, natural look. Your hair isn't bluntly cut towards the end. So I'm just going to take these scissors and kind of just thin it out just a little bit to make it look a little bit more natural. Now it is time to slay this ponytail. So you're gonna flip your ponytail over to the opposite side and take the top of the braid and basically form it over your bun. This is why you wanted your bun to be as small as possible. Then you're going to go in and loosen up the braid from the top to the bottom just to give it more of a full look. 
and then take some bobby pins to secure the braid on top of the bun. Now I'm going to take these curling rods and roll up those pieces of hair that I left out when I was braiding the ponytail down and I'm going to roll each individual piece and I'm going to take some boiling water and dip each roller into the boiling water. Let me tell you, sis, make sure you guys have a towel nearby. Do not, I repeat, do not use boiling, scalding water and not have a towel nearby. Thank me later. Taking each individual curly piece, I'm going to wrap it around the braid to make it look like it's actually coming from the braid, if that makes sense. Again, I can show you better than I can tell you, but basically I'm going to take these pieces and wrap them around and use bobby pins to secure them to the braid. Well, this is the final look, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to drop a comment and let me know what you guys thought of this look. I'm feeling real 90-ish, like I should be headed to an old school hip hop party or something. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can get more of my hair and makeup and fashion tutorials. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.